behind me on the opposite side pregame. I'm just standing on the sideline, minding my own business, Kevin shooting. And all of a sudden, I see him hit the ball up in the air. And I'm like, uh-oh, that's going into the stands. And it landed on somebody. You just see a bunch of people go uh, surround the guy. And I saw an old man with a veteran's hat on. I'm like, oh, this ain't good. <laughs> it hit his glasses. It cut the man. Kevin ran to the, to the stands, uh, uh, profusely apologized, left. His security guy came back and apologized and invited the man to come back to the locker room. And when the guy talked to Kevin, uh, he said, look, you better win the game now after doing that. And I said, well, you're going to go back there? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait till he comes and gets me after the game, but I'm waiting. And he did go back there. Kevin signed a pair of shoes for him that he said he was going to give to his brother, his son-in-law, who was a Cleveland fan, which oh. I don't understand that. But he's a, a guy who owns a like, uh, winery locally. He invited Kevin to the winery, and perhaps after tonight they should share a glass of wine together. It's a nice, nice ending you know, to the night.